starting to wonder if anything you say is for real. Tina, she's my wife. What would you prefer if I told her the truth, that I'm here begging you not to go? Is that what you want? No. Oh, OK, then. I want you to get out. Look, all I was doing... I, I was just said to... out! Well? Well what? Are you? You haven't even done it yet, have you? Hey, it's OK to be scared, you know. I have to say, as first impressions go, not even bothering to turn up for the meeting isn't up there with the best of them. No, Mr Hanlon, and look, all I can do, again, is apologise. I mean, my husband, normally, you can set your watch by him. It, it's just what, what he was saying on the phone was he was stuck in traffic. I always allow for those type of unforeseen circumstances. So should he. Yes, you are absolutely right, and I will pass it on as soon as I see him. Would you excuse me just one moment? <coughs> All right, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, just traffic, you know it is. Yeah, that must have been a nightmare. I'm sorry you had a wasted journey. No, it's, it's not your fault. Look, uh, anyway, I'd better bell handle and see what happened. No, no need. Oh, what, you spoke to him? Didn't have to. He's here. Right. Right. Look, love, I can explain. Yes, it... you will do. Just have to apologise to Mr Hanlon and help me salvage this meeting and ask for your little explanation. It's so better be a good one. Love. Yeah, you? Not bad. How's the baby? Good, yeah. Noisy. <laughs> Only shuts up when she's asleep or feeding. Mind you, I'm a bit like that. Where is she now? David's looking after oh. her. So it's true then? You two giving things another go? Looks that way. What can I say? I'm a sucker for punishment. Mm -hmm. Well, I better look after work. Yeah. See ya. See ya. What are you doing? Oh, oh sorry. It was, um, it was just a bit, a bit too much. You haven't touched it. It's nothing to do with your cooking, honest. Well, you barely ate yesterday or this morning. I am not hungry. But looking on the plus side, not been able to fit into this skirt for donkey shoes. The truth is, I, I just don't feel like eating anymore, and when I do try, nothing seems to agree with me, so what's the point? Have you been taking your anti-nausea tablets? Of course I have. Well, in that case, I just don't understand. Yes, you do. You just don't want to accept it. Neither do I, but here we are. Tell you what I would really like, though. A nice cup of tea. Do you think you could manage that? I shall try my best. Of course you will. You always do. That's why I love you so much. It's very smooth, very romantic. If you're asking me to dance, the answer's no. Oh, I'm just wondering why you chose this particular song. Because I like it. Nothing to do with Andrea, then. Only when she was here before, I couldn't help notice a certain Frisian between you two. Or what? Frisian. Frisson. Frisian's a cow, you plank. Well, whatever. Do you fancy her or not? Andrea, I don't know. She's witty, intelligent, easy on the eye. Yeah, on the other hand, maybe she is out of your league. You know what, McDonald? Why don't you just puck her up and kiss my... Steve! Hold that thought. I'll be back in a minute. Yes, mother dearest? Uh, let's see your lick and just give me a hand, will you? Well, where's Michelle? <sighs> she just popped upstairs for a bit. Better what? How would I know? Come on, Spill, what's going on? Nothing. Mum, you're lying, I can tell. Ow! I'm not going to tell you, am I? Otherwise, I won't be able to work out when you're lying in the future. So come on, where is she? <sighs> she asked me not to say anything. What? 
It's a bit late for that. Don't... It's nothing serious, is it? Oh, no, no, she's fine. <sighs> right, well, uh, once again, for the hard of hearing, what's going on? Oh, she reckons she might be pregnant. So you're pleased then? Well, yes, of course I am. I no idea. Well, don't let on you found out or she'll realise it's me who's told you. I think she's just a bit unsure about the whole thing. Yeah, well, no, I'll play it cool. I'll wait until, you know, she wants to let us know. She won't expect a thing. <laughs> Have you got that trap nerve thing again? No, he's just happy. <laughs> mm, you look tired. No, no, I'm fine. Just works a bit full on, you know. Mm. Oh, Roy, I have been dreaming about your meat and potato pies all day. He has, Roy. He's texted me twice. <laughs> well, it's nice to know my cooking is appreciated by someone. Are you getting complaints about this granny here? Because tell whoever it is to come and see me. I'll straighten them all. It's not a customer. Ailey. Stopped eating. Sorry, and there's me making jokes. You went to know. What, so she's not eating at all? Oh, barely. She told me she'd hardly taste anything, and even the idea of trying to eat a full meal makes her nauseous. Well, maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's the idea of eating as much as the food itself. I'm not, not sure I follow. Well, it's that little and often thing, isn't it, Roy? You just have a few nibbles and a few small bites of something every now and again. Small bites of what, though? I'm not even sure what she likes anymore. Aww. Well, why don't we time it into town? We can pick up a load of different treats and fancies and stuff, and then she can just have a little try of each one, see what she likes. What do you reckon? Well, that, that, that would be very nice of you if it's not too much trouble. No, of course not. Yeah. Uh, don't be gas no, right. No, 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 I insist. Thank you. And thank you. You sure it's OK? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Work can wait. This is more important. Well, can we go now, then? So we'll get the figures to you by close of play tomorrow, and if you're happy, then we'll start the order. Tomorrow. Not the day after or the day after that. You have my word. I'm mine, for what it's worth. All right. Well, in that case, I'd better go. Long drive. Wouldn't want to get caught in all that traffic. Bye. Listen, I'm sorry. No, sorry doesn't cut it, you lied to me. I know, but like I said, I can explain. Go on, then. No, not, not here, not in the street. What? I need to do this inside. Why? Because I don't think you're going to like what I've got to tell you. Mm-hmm. for a while now, you know. Just, um, you know that feeling? It's kind of restless and you can't really think about anything else. And, um, and then that voice starts. You know, go on, do it. Have a drink, nobody's gonna know. Give in. Yeah, you know, I, I thought I could, I thought I could deal with it on my own. I thought I'd just push it to the back of my mind and I'll concentrate on us. But it just, it just didn't go away. Did you? Did I what? Give in. No. Swear to me, Peter. Oh, yeah, I swear to you, Carla. I, I, I did not have a drink, OK? I'm so glad. I'm proud of you. But, Peter... <laughs> darling, why couldn't you tell me that you've gone to a meeting? Well, because I didn't want to worry you. I mean, you've got enough on with Hayley and everything without me adding to your problems. Baby, we're married, all right? Yeah. You're meant to be able to tell me if something's wrong. I know, I know. I will. I promise, I will. So did it help, the meeting? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're always great. I think I'd just become a bit complacent, you know, and I need a wake-up call. And I got one, so it's all right. Look, 
I'm fine. I'm fine now. I'm back on track. Are you sure? Yes. Trust me. <laughs> Hello? I'm in here. Why are you ironing my work clothes? Well, Lily finally conked out. Max is upstairs reading, so I thought I'd make myself useful. Well, there's a difference between making yourself useful and being weird and creepy. Well, if you want me to sit on the couch all day, drinking beer, watching TV and scratching my backside, it can be arranged, you know. Ah, no, I just don't want you turning into somebody else. So where'd you go? For a walk by the canal. I just needed a bit of peace and quiet away from everyone. Some were my ammo. You just knackered, that's all. And it's not surprising, is it? I mean, having been kept up half the night, having to feed the human air raid <laughs> siren. I know she's our daughter. I love her to pieces, but oh, she's not got a massive gob on her. Yeah, well, I wonder where she gets that from. Uh, Ow! That's my ironing arm, remember? I mean, just that. I mean, sometimes I just think people are waiting for me to screw up. What, me, you mean? No. Oh. Do you want me to have a word with her then? Ask her back off. No, it's not Gail's problem. It's mine. And it'll be fine. Listen, it'll be better than fine. Yeah. All right? I promise. Ooh. Just in time. What for? Ah, there's a Rock Hudson Doris Day film on I want to watch. Be a love. Make us a nice cup of tea. Hey. Hey. OK. Yeah? Why wouldn't it be? Um, no particular reason. Just haven't seen you around much today, that's all. I've been around. Fair enough. If you must know, I've been, uh, been having a lie down. Is everything all right? Yes. A bit tired, that's all. Anyway, I, uh, better get back to work. No! No, um, I can um, cover your shift. I've got nothing else doing. Oh, do you mean that? Yes, yes, you go and relax. Uh, put your feet up. Oh, thanks, Steve. Actually, do you know what? Thinking about it, long soak, that'd be nice. I'll run your bath. Oh, and then afterwards, could I, uh, could I maybe have a foot massage? All I want is to see you, Abby. Oh, that's all? That's all. Hmm. I will remember you said that. <laughs> <laughs> now, remember, be tactful. Yeah, 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 tactful's my middle name. <laughs> Hi, Mrs Barlow, I was just coming to see you. What do you want, Inky? Well, for starters, slightly less attitude. Uh, she just requires a moment of time. The answer's no, end of. I need my job back, please. Beth, it ain't gonna happen. I know me rights. You can't just fire someone for no reason. Well, then, it's a good job I fired you for gross misconduct, innit? I didn't do anything gross. I haven't got time for this right now. Oh, I haven't got time? I've got a kid to clothe and feed in case you've forgotten. Well, you should have thought about that before you started trashing Hayley's stuff there, hadn't you? Well, she doesn't even wear there anymore! Auntie Beth, Dawn, there's no point. She's right. Come on, let's just go. Should have watched that. You missed a really good film. I bet I didn't. It looked dead boring from what I saw. Well, it's a lot better than the rubbish you watch these days, all sex and violence. I mean, back then it was a lot more innocent. But you didn't see Rock Hudson ripping off Doris Day's underwear, did you? Mind you, that could have had something to do with him being homosexual. <sighs> Finally, I thought she'd never go. Oh, shut up. Mm. I mean, how, how can she come and watch a film and then just talk all the way through it? It's like having a fly buzzing round. A big gale shaped fly. <laughs> it's not a wittering on that bothers me. It's what with her and Max and Lily, we're not going to have any time for ourselves, and right now we need it. Well, do you think I should ask her to move out? Maybe. Although it does seem a bit harsh after everything she's done for us. Hmm. Yeah, she does have a good point, I suppose. That's what we need to do. If we make a list of all the good and bad points, then we can decide whether we need to kick her out or not. Oh, that seems a bit harsh. Yeah, I know, that's funny, though. And come on, it'll be good therapy. All right. Pros. 
She's on tap for babysitting. Babysitting? Cons. Oh, I was singing it right, does my head in. Yes, singing. Your turn. Uh, prose. Prose. Well, she's an all right cook, I suppose. Yeah. Cooking. <laughs> Cons. I think we're going to need a bigger piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you needed that. Oh, yeah. Bad day. Mm -hmm. Careful. I'll spill my guts. And I imagine you get enough of that already. Mm -hmm. Professional hazards. I bet you can keep a good secret, though, can't you? I'll try my best. Well, here's one for you. Fill that up again. And if you see Peter, please do not tell him I was in here tonight. I don't want him to know I was drinking. Why not? Well, between me and you, I think he's having a bit of a tough time at the minute. He went to one of his meetings today. I tried to keep it on the QT. How come? Don't know. He said that he didn't want me to worry. Well, that's considerate of him. Yeah, it is. Trouble is, Tina, I didn't even notice. I've been too wrapped up in my own problems and what Haley's going through. Been too busy to see how messed up he's been. Carly, you can't blame yourself. Can't I? I'm his wife. I should be there for him like he's been there for me. Well, if this helps, I won't say anything. Hmm. Yeah. You're good and you know that. <clears throat> you wanted to see us? Is that what I think it is? And you can drop the axe, Steve, because I know she told you. Oh, I'm sorry, it just sort of slipped out. It can be very persuasive. So, what's the score, then? See for yourself. <sighs> yeah, I've washed it, haven't you? Do you know what? I'll save you the bother, OK? I'm not pregnant. Oh, are you sure? Yep. You okay with that? Yeah, of course. I get the feeling you were uh, hoping it was a no. Yeah, that's cos I was. All right, well, back to normal then. Well, not quite. Cos if I haven't put weight on cos I'm pregnant, it must just mean I'm getting fat. Oh, you're not fat. And so are you. So that's it. From now on, no more of your mother's fry-up breakfasts, right? You and me, darling, are going on a diet. A deli? Yeah, don't look at me. <laughs> I do the honest car. He did me a deal. Mm -mm. So nuts, cheese and yoghurts are off the menu. Oh, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have gone to so much trouble and expense. Don't be daft. You've got to listen to your body. <laughs> if I did that, all I'd have his beer and kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we... Yes, we've still got the fruit platter to try, and here's one me and Roy prepared earlier. As you can see, we have kiwi fruit, orange, bananas, strawberries. Oh, so beautifully arranged as well. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I should have a drum roll. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, all right. I'll try something a bit more citrusy. Yeah. Maybe what we should do is get, like, a blender or something we could just throw it all in and make a smoothie or... Wait a minute. Mmm. That is absolutely delicious. Yeah? Mm. I didn't even know you liked strawberries. Oh, no, I never used to, but I do now. Oh. No, oh, lovely. I have to try one. Mmm. Hey, you don't know what was wrong with Steve earlier on, do you? No, why? He seemed really happy. <laughs> That's a good thing, isn't it? I don't trust someone who's like that. It normally means something's about to go really wrong. Oh. 
pie. I'll go get you a uh, lemonade for me. And a pie for me and better. So I suppose you got any jobs going? Not here. No, I don't think so. Why? Who's asking? Me. I got fired from the factory. Totally unfairly and all, I might add. Still, that's what you get for having a selfish, heartless boss. Beth, don't stop. Yeah, Kirk's right, Beth. Right, here's on the place. What are you sticking up for her for? She can't give a toss about anybody except herself. You know something? Not only am I selfish and heartless, I've got a really bad temper and all. And if you don't shut your nasty little gob and get it out of my face, I'm going to show you just how bad my temper gets. Hey, 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 right. I can hear you out in the street. What's going off? I thought you were supposed to be going home. I needed a drink. What, that, that, that's OK. No, it's not. I'm sorry. We need to talk. What? I, I can't talk Yes, now. yes, now. All right, just make it quick. Look, then. I can't do this anymore. What? Lying to everyone. Lying to her. Do, do you know how it makes me feel? No. I hate myself. And I hate the person that you're asking me to be. You want me to stay? I'll stay. On one condition. What? No more sneaking about. No more lies. We both tell Carla the truth. Oh, come on, Tina. You can't just expect well, me to go. that's your choice, Peter. Do I stay or do I go? I want you answer by tomorrow. While an official Coronation Street book, The Rover's Return by Tim Randall is available now from all good retailers. Well, next tonight is a former colleague being framed for murder. The girls are out to prove the innocence of one of their own in a brand new series of The Bletchley Circle. <laughs>